Are we good on sound? Yep. Are you okay to go? Yeah. Growing up adopted, knowing I'm adopted, the one and only thing that I've always tried to do, make my mom and dad proud of me. We had a friend, he, his son played hockey. He says maybe that would be a good sport for him to get, Mike to get into. Played them all, except goalie. He said he was too big. Yeah, he covered the whole net. <laughs> He had 33 inch thighs. This was as an eighth grader. He had 19 inch calves. He had a size 16 and a half neck. It was just, it was just like a solid piece of granite. I've known Mike, to be honest, really too fucking long. <laughs> he hit you with the arms and you just, uh, it's like taking it to the body, shiver. He got into the normal scrapes like all, all kids do. He was a bully, and uh, anytime he didn't get his way, you know, he would he would try to, or he would, he wouldn't try, he would, um... He'd bully you. 25, 26 years old, man, I was, you know, on top of the world. I was like, oh my God, I just, you know, I'm wrestling, you know, for the WWF. They decided they wanted to give me a character, half man, half beast, and they wanted to put this big giant bullhead on me. Vince probably spent $100,000 on this fucking bullhead that I only wore like five, six times. I grabbed Vince by the arms and I'm talking to him through the mouth of this bullhead. And I said, Vince, I got this. I said, don't worry about it. I had a good friend of mine die in the ring in my arms in Bremen, Germany in 1993, Larry Cameron. He had a heart attack in the middle of the ring and I watched this guy of black color turned to an ash gray. I bought a ring and fixed it up and opened up my company, had a few shows, and then that's when I found out that C6 was touching my spinal cord and uh, my career was over. For those of you who don't know what CTE syndrome is, it's a chronic traumatic encephalopathy which stands for uh, one too many concussions. 